Hey everybody, welcome to this quick start guide to working with Mask and After Effects. So I've got a layer in my composition and basically compositions are similar to sequences in Premiere Pro. So I've got this clip, I'd like to apply a mask to it. And I'll go back to the selection tool so you can see this, but you wanna click over here on the rectangle tool. This will basically give me a mask. Now I can click and hold and pick other ones here. I've got other choices, rectangle, rounded rectangle, and I can also click Q and this will cycle me through the mask. To apply it, if you click, once you click, you're only gonna see what's inside of the mask. So here I've got a mask. And if I wanna do multiple masks, I can, I can click again. Now you see the issue with this is the masks are the same color. So to avoid this, I'm gonna make a preference change. So I'm gonna go remove these. I'm gonna go to After Effects Preferences Appearance and I'm going to check cycle mask colors. This way, every time I create a mask, it's a new color. So we'll go back, create a mask. And you'll now see when we do this, their colors, their different colors. Now you can always come down here and change it later, but this is just handier. It's quick. It's going to save you some time. I'm going to go back to just one mask and talk about how to work with masks. So if I hit M, that'll roll everything up. If I hit M once, it'll show me the mask on this layer. MM will show me all the options. So the path, mask path, I can animate the shape. Mask feather, so I could soften up the mask. I'll undo that. Mask opacity is, if it's, you know, by default is 100%, but you can change that and keyframe it. And then mask expansion is, are you basically shrinking or expanding the mask? So a lot of times I'll set this first and then come in and use the mask feather. So I'm just gonna reset that. Now working with mask, I'm gonna grab the regular selection tool and click off. And if you click on the, the layer name, when you click on the layer name and click on a point, you're actually changing that point, okay? I'm gonna do that. If you click on the mask, the name of the mask and not the layer, when you do that, it'll actually move the mask around. And if you double click on a corner, that'll give you free transform. And this is just like free transform is in Photoshop. You'll see that I can rotate it here and I do that. I can change, you know, the width, the height, I can move it around. So this is probably the easiest way to do that. And then you hit return to get out of it. So if you just double click, that'll give you that. Okay. Now we can add points to it. If we grab the pen tool, it's smart. So it now knows that there aren't points here. So it gives us the plus. So we could come in and basically add points. And if I come back, I could now delete a point by selecting that. You can also come up here and do convert vertex tool. And this will give you beziers with handles. If you click again, it will toggle back. And then the newest one, this is new in CS6, is the Mask Feather tool. So if I come in here and click and drag, this basically will feather all sides. But then I could come in here and just click on these corners, and basically it will just affect one side. I'm gonna undo that. And then what I tend to do though with this tool is just if you put it over the edge here, Instead of dragging it out like that, hold shift, and that way you can just basically do one side at a time. Let me get rid of this point here. So now if I come in, so I'm going to hold shift and click right here and drag out, and that just does that side. So I do that a lot if I'm doing lower thirds or something where I just want to work with one side. Okay. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to show you a practical use of mask to do a vignette. So let's say I want to put a vignette on this. I'm going to deselect my layer. I'm going to right click down here and say new uh, solid. And I'm going to call it vignette. I want it to be comp size. Just click that to make sure. I'm going to make it black. And then this gives you uh, a black layer that covers everything, a black solid. I'm going to go back to 
my masking choices and pick ellipse tool. And the neat thing with this is I don't need to click and drag out. Like I don't have to come up here and try to figure out what would be a good size. All I have to do is double click on it and that makes it fit. Now I need to swap it so you can either click inverted or you could go to where it says add and do subtract and that'll flip it. And then you can roll down mask one here and see the properties. Again, you can hit M to roll it back up, roll it, click M again, it completely rolls up. Hit M, M, this will show you all the choices and I tend to do this. So I would use mask expansion to figure out how large I want it and then I would do mask feather. And that gives me a vignette. And I can toggle this on and off. This is toggle masks and shape path visibility so I can hide it when I'm working with it if I want. If you decide that you'd want a different uh, color vignette, if you're doing something stylized like a wedding per se, you could go back up to layer solid settings and you could click in here and pick something else. And you know, this is live so you can see what it's doing. And if you wanted to, you know, you could take the eyedropper and maybe click on a color in the scene and use that. So black's the most standard look, but you can also use it for different treatments like this. So that's a quick start with working with mask. Hope you guys found that helpful.